How's it going Forex traders now guys? Welcome to this video where I'm going to be teaching you guys five things that I've learned ever since I started trading a hundred and fifty million US dollars. Yes, you heard it right guys, a hundred and fifty million US dollars. That's exactly how much money I'm trading as we speak. Guys, for those of you guys who do not know me, my name is Dapo Willis. I am currently not just your regular retail trader anymore. I manage funds for a lot of very, very wealthy people and a lot of very established institutions around the world. I've been doing this for quite some time now and trust me when I tell you guys I am an OG in this game so in this video first of all five things that I've learned since I started managing a lot of money secondly for those of you guys who have decided okay I want to take trading as if you know I want to, this is I want to trading should be my career like I want to retire from my day job or I want to quit my day job and trade full-time or I want to graduate from school and do this full-time listen because at the end of the day you want to get to this level whereby you're trading a lot of money guys I'm not gonna kid you yeah I was making some good money when I started trading but guys Capital is king. When you have a lot of money, you can make a lot more money. This is the end goal for every single trader out there. Do not kid yourself. So, guys, five things that I've learned so far since I started trading Forex. And secondly, how can you guys do this for yourself? I mean, who doesn't want to make a lot of money, right? Who doesn't want a significant amount of capital? So, once again, guys, my name is Dapo Willis. All you need to do, sit right there. Do not go anywhere and watch this video to the very end. And voila you might just make a shitload of money. All right, guys, let's jump into the video. Let's go. All right, my people, so welcome into the video. Actually, let me just let me just sit right now, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm on holiday, right? And I thought, mm, you know, what can I share with my people? And I keep seeing people, you know, always ask me questions like, you know, what does it feel like to manage that kind of money? Do you get scared? Do you get confused? Like, what, what, what happens when you hit a stop loss? Do you, do you get arrested? <laughs> Do you get what I mean? What happens when you lose all that kind of money? I'm going to explain all of that to you guys right about shortly. How do I make all that kind of money? Don't worry, guys. I got you. But before I jump into the meat of the video, you guys just need to do me one favor and one favor alone. Actually, you're doing yourself this favor. Smash the subscribe button right there so that once I update my YouTube channel with juicy stuff like this, you will be the first to know. I don't just talk about stuff like this. I also show you guys my chart. I show people what I'm trading. And trust me, guys, I am right nine out of ten times. I don't just come here and just yeah, brrr. I show people charts, entries and exits and stuff like that, how to make money from the charts, real life stuff. I'm not here to show off any bloody cars or any of that. I want to help you guys make money. So do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. You got five seconds, okay? Smash it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys. So let's kick things off. Let's kick things off. I want you guys to be very relaxed. This is, a, this is a conversation from one very experienced OG in the game to you guys who are obviously coming up in the game and you want to learn some cool stuff. You want to learn how to do what I do, right? So some background story. How did I even arrive at $150 million? Because not everybody gets to do this, right? It's, it's quite different, right? I remember I go for a couple of interviews and everybody's so like, how did you sell $150 million? How did, that all, how did all of that happen? Just some quick background story. I used to manage funds when I was a lot younger, um, just playing around here and there and stuff like that. And then I obviously kicked off this YouTube channel that you guys can see. And I just used to come on here and I was just simply share my analysis that I was obviously trades that I was placing on my personal account and accounts that I used to um, on accounts that I was managing at the time. So maybe accounts I was managing, maybe 500k, 1 mil, you know, maybe 2.5 mil, nothing too tough, right? And then they saw my trading analysis and they were like, I think what actually stood out was the fact that I was right so many times, like I'm right nine out of 10 times. If you check my YouTube channel, you realize that I'm actually, I'm a very spot on guy when, spot on guy when it comes to my analysis and my projection. So what did they do? They reached out to me, flew me out to their office. It was in a different city, sent a private jet. If you check my social media, you see all of that. And then got there, offered me $50 million, signed a contract, took it, managed it for 12 months. After that, uh, when it was time for me to renew my contract, 
And then um, I flew back there again and they were like, oh, we want you to keep managing the money. Actually, we're going to add some more money. I think they added about 30 something M. And then that's exactly how the figure obviously arrives. So 150, obviously it's more than 150 now because I've been doing some trading um, since January, but obviously the market has been up and down the whole place. So we haven't actually grown into like maybe 50% or 60% or anything like that. So, but that's by the way, that's exactly how I arrived at the $150 million mark where everybody's like, wow, this guy's amazing. I love what he's doing. Now that's some background story, how the money came about. Now that's by the way, in all of this, what have I learned? What do I have to share with you guys? For those of you guys who want to achieve something like this, how exactly should you go about it? Now guys, the very first thing I'm going to be, and I'm going to be very honest with you guys, I'm going to be very blunt with you guys, I'm going to tell you guys everything exactly how it is in my mind and it is in my heart. Your trading skill is so important. <laughs> guys, you can have the best trading psychology book. You can have the best this, the best risk management this and blah, blah. If your trading skill, if you have not sorted out your technical analysis, guys, go and sort it out right now because what will make you stand out as your trader is your ability to be wrong or right. Don't let anybody kid you. Forget about those guys on Twitter who are dropping Twitter threads about, oh, do this, discipline. Yeah, 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 I get discipline. Like, eh, be disciplined. I'm going to speak about discipline much later on. But the very first thing you need to hack, the very first thing you need to do, you need to get your technicals on point, okay? Because once you are technically savvy, even when you have, maybe you probably make mistakes whereby your risk management is a bit off and stuff like that, because your win rate, guys, this game is about win rate. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. You have to win more times than you lose because we as traders tend to get complacent when it comes to our risk management. Sometimes we think we've calculated it the right way and all that. At the end of the day, if your trade is going in your favor, you don't really have to worry. Like, let's be honest, guys. You don't really, really have to worry that much about your risk management. Worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, if you're right most of the time, like things like that, you know, Bottom line, get your technicals on point. For me, I've been doing this 12 years now and it's taken me a very long time for me to arrive at a strategy that I like very much. For those guys who've been following me the longest, my favorite strategy that I develop myself and I share with almost everybody who's on the Forex Mastery program, it's called the top-down analysis. Now guys, this might be of interest to you, especially for people who want to go on to manage a lot of money. So the top-down analysis is a situation whereby, rather I say, it's, a, it's, a, it's an approach to Forex whereby I go on higher time frames and I look at the overall picture, what exactly is happening in Forex or what exactly you know, is the market up to. I then identify the bigger picture trend, straightforward. The bigger picture trend, for example, let's look at um, maybe AUDUSD, which is one of my favorite pairs. If the monthly time frame tells me it's trending downwards, all I need to do is use the weekly, um, use the weekly to map out my levels, and then I come and execute, come scale down. I don't trade on higher time frames. I use them for analysis, and then I scale down to lower time frames, and I trade in that direction, guys. This strategy, without a doubt, I'm not going to lie to you guys, is what has helped me so far. It's what has kept me this long in the game, and it is what has built my brand this big, and it is what has made investors want to, like, guys, there are times when investors are calling and literally can't pick up their phone because we don't have space to accommodate their money. We literally don't have space to accommodate, um, accommodate their money. So I owe all of this. The very first point, the very first thing I've learned, the very first thing I want to share is I want to give a spe special shout out to my strategy, which is called the top-down analysis, like I just explained to you guys. Because with that, I can project thousands of, pips, thousands of pips into the future. And then once I scale down to lower time frames and trade in that particular direction, I just close my system down. And we don't literally have to trade that much because... Think about it guys, I'm projecting 2,000 pips into the future and I've got 150 million US dollars sitting in a trading account. All I need to do is take a little percentage of that, or rather not all I need to do, all I do is just take a percentage of it, which is about 3%, and then I just put it in the trade and one trade. And because I've projected almost 1,000, 1,500 pips into the future, if you're risking maybe about 70 pips with 3%, um, so let's just say you're risking about 100 pips, right? 3%. 
if that pair goes on to trend for about a thousand pips, which does take time, so you're looking at anywhere between four to six weeks before you hit target. But for me, I prefer that. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So think about it. 100 pips stop loss, 3%, and the, the, the trade eventually takes six weeks to hit 1,000 pips. Guys, do you know what that is? I have done, that's a 10 to 1 risk to reward. That is 30% one trade, and I still kept my risk very, very low. This gives me a lot of peace of mind because I'm not always in front of my screen constantly trying to look for opportunities and clicking buttons and all that stuff. All of that is, you know, if you realize most day traders, most people who are always in front of their computers actually never get make it this far. That's just the truth because they're constantly looking at their charts every day, you know, wanting to, you know, jump into the market in and out looking for opportunities. And at the end of the day, they end up messing up their trading accounts. Um, guys for those of you guys who are wondering you know how you can learn how to do the top-down analysis you guys are lucky i've put it together as a program on the forex mastery program the link is in the description as always or just click forex mastery is in the description or around here some of my team always puts it here do yourself a favor and ensure to grab it the most important thing when it comes to this trading game is your approach your ability to be right nine out of ten times and the good thing about the top-down analysis is guys you find out that your strike rate is a lot higher why because it is pure price action no signals no indicators you plot your levels properly you understand the flow of the market and you can then use that strategy for example when i go for meetings um and maybe they're asking me what do i think about oil prices for example you have to understand that these funds that invest a lot of money they have chief investment officers we have board meetings right because of the fact that I am skilled when it comes to price action and thanks to my top-down analysis, which I teach on the Forex Mastery Program, thanks to the knowledge I have, when they ask me questions like, what do you think is going to happen with oil? What do you think is going to happen with this? I simply open up my chart and I do a top-down analysis and I know exactly what is going to happen courtesy of this. So you can use the strategy for all markets. As long as price is moving, the top-down analysis is going to work. So the very first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is your trading skill is king and that is exactly what is responsible for where that willis is today and that's exactly what is responsible for the 150 million dollars and that's what's exactly responsible for my success today so if you want to achieve this kind of success skill up get your skill if you don't want to talk down analysis it's up to you for those of you guys that want it ensure to grab it it's going to change your life so number one thing i've learned so far is getting your trading skill right and guess what guys the money will come Okay, guys, so the second thing I've learned in all of this, obviously managing a lot of money, is the fact that you need money. <laughs> you need capital, you need, and you need a lot of it. Now, I, I, I see a lot of prop firms springing up here and there, you know, offering people money and stuff like that, blah, say, blah, blah. But the problem is a lot of people just cannot pass these challenges. Why? Because strategy is probably wrong. And secondly, these prop firms just have on real like they know that most traders are not going to be able to pass these challenges and i don't know why they do this but uh, it, it's rather unfortunate so what my team and i have decided to do most recently is to actually launch our own very version of our prop firm it's going to be called willis capital i think they're working on obviously putting together the platform as we speak i'm supposed to have a meeting with them uh, next week so good news for now willis capital is going to be funding students on the forex mastery program so you have to be a student of willis university which obviously have the forex mastery program and have because i'm not going to be funding traders that i don't know where they got their trading skill from like i'm not going to give you my money because it's my money right it's my money i'm not getting money from elsewhere all this money that i'm making from forex and stuff like that i will then be putting it in to willis capital whereby traders can get funded right so it's only only available to students on the forex mastery program once again if you haven't already grabbed the course it's so cheap it's 99 dollars. the link is in this i don't know it might be 99 dollars as i went i'm recording this video it might have gone up in price my team get really crazy with this but if you get that the price has gone up ensure to get it because it might even go higher again this one that obviously we're about to launch a prop firm and stuff like that so once again we're going to be launching willis capital now the difference is and uh, the difference is so i want to launch a prop firm that has the kind of conditions that can suit my style of trading like remember i said to you guys earlier like my trading skill, the top-down analysis has brought me, you know, this far. It's brought me, you know, it's pretty much built my name and built my brand. However, I'm going for a thousand pips, a thousand five hundred pips. 
most prop firms will not give you the time for your trades to materialize. You have to pass your challenge within a certain time. You have to do this. You have to do that. When it comes to Willis Capital, like I told the, the I told my team, and there's obviously going to be a CEO of Willis Capital, which is not going to be me because I have a lot of other stuff to run. But obviously, it's going to be mine. Um, I told them. I said, listen. You have to, rather, we have to make the trading conditions conducive for forex traders who want to hold their trades for a period of time. Because we all know that the reason why a lot of traders are unable to pass their trading challenges is because, I mean, you're giving people short time frames to trade, you know, you're pretty much tailoring the prop firm uh, accounts to, to gamblers and day traders and stuff like that. We both know that most traders who trade like, like that actually don't make a lot of money. They actually never get to make it big in this game. So I, like I said, told them that the conditions in which traders will pass their challenges, the conditions in which traders are going to get funded have to be the kind of conditions that I preach about, have to, tri have to be trading methodologies that I preach about. And like I said earlier, why are we giving traders a time frame to pass a challenge? No, I don't want that. I want everything to be relaxed. Hold your trades for as long as you need to hold your trades for so that you can pass the challenge and get funded. And when you indeed get funded, the restrictions are going to be less. Obviously, we're not just going to be allowing you to trade like, trade like a mad person. We're not going to do that. But like, guys, come on, you know that always. You know how I like to trade. Guys, when you're managing accounts like $150 million, I don't have investors breathing down my neck. We only speak on a quarterly basis. Sometimes we don't even speak at all. Sometimes I hold one trade. Sometimes I don't have any trades to place at all. And nobody's bothering me about passing no damn challenges. So the way my investors treat me is the same way I am, I am now an investor and I want to treat the traders who are going to be coming on Willis Capital. So I think... Uh, I don't think I was supposed to have announced this on this video, but yeah, we're working behind the scenes to make sure it's good because a lot of prop firms reached out to me. Um, sorry, I'm digressing a, bit, a bit from obviously what I was talking about, but I feel like this is very important for me to share. Um, a lot of uh, uh, prop firms reach out to me for endorsements because obviously we are almost at 100,000 YouTube subscribers. They wanted me to sign on board with them and I was like... I don't really like your style of doing business, man. You guys are just out here for the profit. You don't really care about these traders. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. You guys don't really give a shit about... And I just said, imagine if I wasn't that police. Imagine if I was one of the traders out there struggling. So you guys would have just come to rip me off. No, no, no. So I refused to sign any contracts with any prop firms to promote them. I said, no, nah, what we're going to do is we're going to do things differently. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm here to save the forex industry. People think I'm joking. People think I'm capping. But I'm saying the truth. But the problem is a lot of people really don't listen to me when I tell them less is more. Trade less. Trade less. Only go for the high quality and high probability setups. Okay? High quality, high probability. Not too many. Less is more when it comes to being profitable in this game. So obviously that's my second point. Trading capital. You need money to make money. And I don't know, maybe I might put $2 million in, the, in Willis Capital, $5 million. Um, but we're not going to take on everybody at a go. So we're only going to select the first few applicants. Okay, I'll talk about this you know, in more detail in another video, but I just wanted to share this. Because when it comes to capital, like there's no me, more point in me talking about you have to have capital, you have to have capital, people don't have capital. I need to now provide the capital for you guys. So that's exactly how I'm going to do it. You need capital to be able to be a big dog in this game. And the kind of capital you should get is the kind of capital that you should have peace of mind trading, not the one that you have to pass several challenges and at the end of the day, you don't have anything to show for it, you don't have any trading capital, all of that. And we all know that you can't go and rob the bank to freaking get capital, can you now? You can't do that. So, second thing, like I said earlier, guys, is capital. Capital is very important. And not to worry, Dapple Willis, in conjunction with Willis Capital and Willis University, will be giving you some decent amount of money to trade. So, there you go, guys. Number two is capital. Three things that I've learned so far, okay, from managing $150 million, I said on the management, is having very realistic expectations. Now, um, when I was obviously new into the game, you know, I just used to look about Forex. Like, I, I remember one time i think nfp was coming up and stuff like that you know and i told my everybody in my living room like yo guys i'm gonna buy you i'm gonna buy you um iphones i think i had maybe like one thousand five hundred dollars in my trading account I'm like yo listen by the time i'm done with nfp now i'm gonna buy everybody iphones iphone for you mommy iphone for you iphone for everybody and then nfp came 
you know what happened? I blew the account. This was maybe maybe like maybe like nine months into trading. Now, what actually happened there was I had very unrealistic expectations. Forex doesn't work like that. You might get lucky. People do get lucky. And I actually feel very sorry for traders that get lucky because they think that's how the market works. But it actually doesn't work like that. Now, what has helped me so far managing $150 million is very, I have very, very, if I'm a reali my realist, my reality bar is even very below realistic expectations. So what that simply means is I really don't expect the market to do anything for me. I don't expect much from the game. When I get into a trade, I'm not really hopeful. I'm just, I'm just here to analyze and just do what I'm supposed to do. And what, listen, whatever the market gives me or gives you, you have to take it, hold it and chill, bro. Chill with your, whatever the market gives you, take it and relax. For those of you guys who are new to this game, you're coming to this game, no, you will not make a million dollars in your first year. You will not buy that Ferrari in your first three months. That one, that $500 account, you cannot sustain it up to 100k. Even if you do, before you get a chance to redraw it, there's something called greed inside of you. You will destroy it yourself. I'm not cursing anybody. I'm not telling anybody that they can't do it. I'm blah, blah. I'm not trying to say nobody's going to make money. I'm just trying to tell you guys from experience, having realistic expectations will save you more than you can imagine. What are your goals? When I start my year, my goal for the end of the year is... I don't know, maybe 50%. 50% for the year. Imagine. For me, 50% is only five winning trades. I know I can do more than that. In a year, I probably place a lot more trades than that. Just imagine if I place 20 trades a year and I'm right 19 times. That's almost 200% return on investment. I know I can do a lot more than 50%. But when I tell my investors 30% at the end of the year, I'm able to relax. I can breathe. And when you can breathe, you're not as greedy. And when you're not greedy, you can make better trading decisions. Forget about all those Lamborghinis you're seeing on social media, all those YouTube. Those boys are lying. I know half of them and talking, all of them are talking shit. They just want you to, you know, you know how the game goes. They just want you to do whatever it is they want you to do. And at the end of the day, you go and you blow your can and you're crying. Thank your God that you stumbled on this video. This is the, I was sent by the almighty supreme being of the forex industry to come and convey this message to all of you guys who have been led astray you have been led astray no more realistic expectations are very 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 important and i feel like you know anytime i walk in for a meeting and i'm talking to investors or i come on here i'm speaking to if you notice even when i do my analysis on these trades i'm not like saying oh i'm gonna buy a car from this trade no 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 because at the end of the day, if you are too hopeful for a trade and it doesn't happen, you get heartbroken. And when you're heartbroken, you go into revenge mode. And when you get into revenge mode, you want your money back. And when you want your money back, the market doesn't give you back. And before you know it, boom, the account is gone. Okay, guys, so having realistic expectations has really, really, really helped me. Guys, and last but not the least is thinking long term. Now, my ability to think very long term I think is one of the things that helps me stand out from most traders because people will argue with me and say, oh, because you have a lot of money to trade with and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. The truth is, even when I didn't have a lot of money to trade with, I still used to think long term because people come into this game and they want to make a quick buck overnight. That obviously is kind of like the same of realistic expectations, but thinking long term will do more good for you than you can actually imagine. Why? You see, same thing with life. When I started trading Forex at the age of 17, I gave myself three years. I didn't have education. I didn't have Dapo Willis on YouTube to tell me what to do. I didn't have any of that. I didn't have none of this. Nobody was telling me anything to do, like blah, blah, blah. So I knew that I was going to have to do a lot of trial and error myself. So I gave myself three years. But the problem with most people these days is they don't want to give. They, don't, they, they want it now. And obviously, I can't blame them because Instagram is not really helping. Like, people are posting Lamborghinis. You see someone that claims to have started trading last week or last month is posting profits and stuff like that. And you think, like, why? Why can't I do it? Guys, don't believe all those things. Take it from someone that has been here for 12 years. Even when I started my journey, can you believe that people that used to post screenshots when I started trading don't trade anymore? They're gone. They were actually never profitable. 
Give yourself time to grow in the game. Give yourself time to learn. Give yourself time to make mistakes. Because I'll leave you with this, guys. The reason why I'm so, 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 so profitable and the reason why my trading calls are very spot on is because I've seen a lot of these patterns form in the chart. I've seen it several times. So when it comes to trading opportunities and stuff like that, if it's going to be a profitable one, I've chances that I have already seen that kind of pattern before, so I take it. If it's going to be a losing one, I'm going to stay out of it because chances, chances are that I've probably seen that kind of pattern before and it cost me a lot of money. Now, how was I able to do all of this? It's because I've paid my dues a, a significant amount of chart time. Obviously, this is why I created the, the Forex Mastery program so that I can help you compress your learning curve. Like everything I learned in 12 years is literally in there. You get what I mean? So you can fast track all of that. But still, even when you fast track all of that, give yourself time to explore give yourself breathe because if you want to make the money right now you would almost never see the money in the game that's one thing thinking long term in general second thing is thinking long term when it comes to your trades you see i urge traders i beg traders i say listen for me sometimes to double like, to double a trading account i only need one pair at best two pairs and four trades people always want you like Is this guy crazy how does he do it it's simple because I can just take a pair that I see wants to tra trend a thousand or two thousand pips. What do I do? I get in when the trend is about to I get in when the trend is about to kick off. Okay, at the early stage, the market starts to trend. I hold the trade and allow the market move. As the market starts to consolidate somewhere along the line, I stack up and I add more trades. Think about it: if a trade is going to do, if a pair is going to um, trend for a thousand five hundred pips, and I have three trades there, do you know how many pips that is? easily you'll be able to bag 2800 pips or even 3000 pips while still keeping your risk low but the truth is for the market to move 1500 to 2000 pips it takes time it might take up to two three months are you patient enough okay in this game you know the most patient traders are the most rewarded traders can you hold on those onto those trades for that period of time ask yourself so if indeed you want to stand any chance of making a lot of money like I do, $150 million asset under management, you want to have all of this, long-term thinking will literally be the game changer for you. So once again, guys, I hope I've been able to use this medium to share a couple of things with you guys. I wish this video could have been longer. I'm looking at my timer right about now. And I've been talking for quite a bit. And usually people start to obviously tune out around points like this uh, about obviously time um, when I've been talking for too long. People start to tune up and stuff like that. So I don't want to bore you guys. I don't want to tell you guys stuff that I feel like you already know. I just wanted to come on here and remind you, obviously, hopefully educate you guys and remind you about the core principles of trading and how I'm able to manage 150 million US dollars and obviously things that I've learned so far and how you guys can do it as well. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, ensure to smash that subscribe button right there. Drop me a nice comment, okay? And don't forget to join the Forex Mastery program. The students will be notified once Willis Capital is live. I love you guys very much and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and peace out.